I'm coming. How was your morning? Want one? No, I don't want one. Well, I have some interesting news for you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? So I'll take one guess. The uh, whole deal went south and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? <laughs> That's funny. At least find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. Yeah, son of a bitch, he's smart. <laughs> He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like hell you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. Hey, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome back to more The Last of Us Remastered uh, Edition, I guess, or version for the PS4. And today we're going to be taking on a couple of uh, missions or chapters or mini chapters whatever you want to call it uh, for the quarantine zone we got 20 years later and beyond the wall there's two more left but I'm gonna leave the other two for different videos because if I squeeze them all in to this video it's gonna take like around 40 minutes and I don't want to upload a 40 minute video uh, for The Last of Us, it's... I don't know. <laughs> I just want to keep it nice and short and nice and neat. So today we're going to be taking on 20 Years Later and Beyond the Wall for this video, okay? And there's not much action for for this part because... I don't know, there's just not much action. <laughs> Later on, there's going to be like a shitload of action and... It's going to be kind of tough. There's a lot of stealth involved in those in those actions. And sorry if I'm talking over these guys. I just want to explain what's going on here and stuff. So be careful about these security guards on the left, okay? Because if you like stand right in, the, in front of their face, they get a, they'll get unhappy and they'll go like, "Hey, move out of the way!" And if you just continue to stand there, they'll freaking shoot you. I've tried that before. Got them all pissed off and then got killed, and it was kind of dumb. <laughs> took Marianne and these guys obviously you can interact with them uh, in this game those are interactables with like dialogues if you if you interact like with all of them you get like a trophy for it so if you guys can find all the interactables you guys can get unlock a trophy for that and there's collectibles of course but uh, I don't know all the interactables and the collectibles so yeah I'll probably miss a few, and you guys can point it out to me where I miss it, where I missed them at, you know. What's your business here? A day off, visiting a friend. All right, move on through. Thanks. Well, I guess we're not getting through. Alright, so taking a detour L1 to sprint. If you guys want to change it back to L2, like uh, in in PlayStation 3, you guys can do so in the option menu. You guys don't have to go with the new style they made. The new style, it's they switched it around. It's kind of like Xbox now. So L2 is to aim, and L1 is to run now. So 
they, they switched it up a bit. But if you guys are not comfortable with that layout, you guys can switch it back on the option menu. So yeah, uh, no worries. And the mid kit that she gave you, it, it teaches you how to heal yourself up and you cannot cheat that one, okay? <laughs> you have to heal up. I try like, I try just tapping R2 and go like, oh, maybe I'll just like wrap it, wrap it up halfway and then stop. Maybe the game won't let me through. But nope, the game freaking forces you to heal up. And the unique thing about this game is, I don't know if people notice or not, but when you get through a chapter, not a, not like a level in the chapter like this this chapter is called the quarantine zone but then like it has four different levels in there if you get through one chapter you can your health will automatically regenerate to max so yeah there's 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 no point of really wasting the med kit unless you really need to okay but i have not like used the med kit for this game for a long time i don't i don't think i ever did unless i get beat up which i can't remember when but yeah i did uh i did play like survivor on the ps3 and then survivor plus i never bought the ground and move on ps3 though so yeah and this one the remastered edition just came with the ground demo so i was like okay let's check let's try this out and obviously you guys will know it's ground demo because the hud is not there and yeah ground demo you don't have the hud so it's pretty crazy i i felt kind of weird playing ground demo at first i'm like where's the freaking hud i can't see my hp i can't see how much ammo i have unless i pull up the menu and yeah i don't know if i can craft items unless i pull up the menu also now, this part, when once you jump down here, okay, this is like the end of the 20 years later part. And we, this is pretty much the second part of the first chapter. So this, from here on out, it's beyond the wall. And yeah, I'm going to squeeze two missions into one video. And right here, you can grab your gear. And like I said before, in grounded mode, you grounded mode and survival mode they're they're pretty much the same except grounded mode you you take more damage and you don't you, the game doesn't provide you with the hud so that's that's pretty much it the item layouts like where ammos are and stuff it's it's the same as survival uh for for now it is i don't know if later on we'll change it or not but for now everything is like the same like nothing changes so that's that's pretty cool, I guess. If you guys can master survival without like taking too much of a hit, then ground and motion will be a problem for you guys. It's it's pretty much the same shit. Uh, let's see if I want. I remember I wanted to come up. I want to say something. Uh, collectibles and trophies, because I know this trophy like upgrade your we your weapons to max or something like that, and find all these items and unlock all these doors. You guys, your best bet of unlocking all of those things and obtaining all the item parts or something like that, it's in, it's in like, just play easy or normal, it doesn't matter, because if you play survival and grounded mode, they're not going to provide you with much stuff, you barely get any resources, so if you guys are looking for those trophy, this is not the difficulty for you, okay? If you guys want the trophies, Play on an easy difficulty first, and after that, if you guys want like want to continue and grab the rest of the difficulty trophies, you guys then can head on over to grounded and survival, because in in the lower difficulties they'll provide you with more resources. Like in grounded mode, they'll probably like give you one or two bullets for that one section, but in normal mode, they'll give you like five to ten anim uh, animals, <laughs> animals. So yeah, if you guys want to hunt for stuff go for easy mode okay and over here on this in this room in the kitchen in this drawer right here there's a couple of up uh weapon upgrade parts and later on we will see how those work okay the game only provides you with upgrade parts for now but later on we'll get like a upgrade bench and that's that's gonna be pretty useful but i'm not gonna use it because i still don't have the weapon i want my the weapon i want it comes in i believe at chapter three or four this is gonna be chapter one i'm not gonna count the first video that's a prologue so i'm just gonna take it as a tutorial or intro so this is officially chapter one and yeah not not that much action chapter one it's pretty much 
like an advanced tutorial level in my opinion. Tells you how to interact with things, how to, how to pick up things, stuff like that, how to defend yourself. And squeeze on through here with Tess. It's just you and me, baby. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Whoa! Okay. So, <laughs> this guy that's crushed, I don't know if I did that or not, but hey, he's, he's crushed. And, you know, you guys can put him out of his misery by aiming and shoot. See how the game teaches you how to kill now with the gun. But I am not gonna waste an ammo just for that. There's pretty much no point uh, on shoot for shooting him. He, he's just gonna die. It's not like he's gonna drop you anything or get any trophies like that. So I'm just gonna save that one ammo for later on when I need it for emergencies. I know it's kind of like a thick move, but it's grounded mode, you know. I gotta, I gotta conserve what I can. And right here, sneak up on this zombie, okay, or the infected, and hit triangle. The moment you hit triangle, you're gonna grab them if they're not aware that you're there. You're gonna grab them, and then when you hit square, you're gonna execute them. So that's how you grab and execute. And if they're aware of you, you, you can't do the grab. <laughs> so, oh shit! And right here, you're just gonna have to brawl these guys out, and hopefully they don't whack you too much times. So. And if you do this correctly, Tess should be helping you out. But sometimes she will be an asshole and not help you out at all, and you just get your ass whooped. That happened to me once. The first time I played a ground, when I played grounded mode, she freaking just stood there and watched me die. And what a bitch! <laughs> yeah, I was like, "What the hell, man, Tess? I thought we were a team." And apparently, she she flies solo or something. She doesn't want to be teams with homes. And if you guys got whacked a bit, there is some HP refilling sneaker bars. Sneaker doodles, energy bars, whatever. And in this room, there is a note and another health up. Just in case you guys got scraped a little bit on the zombie fight, which I did. If you guys got, if you guys didn't take any damage when you're trying to pick up like an HP item, the game won't let you do it. So I'll just say full. So you guys will know when you're low on HP or not. Because in grounded mode, they don't freaking show you HP, so you gotta have to assume things, you know. Like, uh, and when you grab like a bat or something, like a melee weapon, the game doesn't show you how many times you can hit it, though. Too well, yeah, the game doesn't show you how many times you can hit it, so... Usually, it's a fourth... You, you can whack an enemy four times before the, the weapon breaks. But I think there's some there's some other weapons that you can only hit it a couple of times. I'm not really sure about that. It's been a while since I played this. And for my practice runs, I still haven't gone up that far yet. I have got to Bill's Town right now, and I'm just keeping my survival, survival tactic, the tactic I use in survival difficulty, and it's working out the way it is in survival. So, hey, I'm not complaining. Okay, just grab this plank and uh, hand, uh, hand it over to Tess. I'll pass it to you. Should I just toss it to you? Can you catch this? No? Okay. Let's it's put it down heavy. gently. It's a bit... I think I can, I think I can handle it. Okay, All okay. Alright. Right. Yeah, not much action. Except for that zombie point. It almost killed me. It takes like three punches for him to kill you. It's pretty ridiculous on this mode. So uh, if your HP bar... If your HP is full, then... When you're trying to grab this HP, well, when you're trying to grab something to heal yourself up, it won't let you. It's just gonna say four on the side, and be careful about your melee weapons. You don't want to melee like recklessly to sure for like soldiers. everything. Uh, you gotta want to save it for like useful things, like maybe clickers. Because if you throw an object at a clicker's head and then you go for like a swing with your whatever melee weapon you have, it'll kill them instantly. Okay, you're gonna have to stun the clicker though. Cause sometimes the game kind of the game kind of glitches out or something like that, and when you throw an object at a clicker, they don't get stunned for some reason. It's kind of weird. All right, so we're almost done with this part of the mission, and yeah, once we get to the door and Tess knocks on the door for the kid to open the door, it's gonna end for this part. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful and entertaining. And join me next time when I take on more. The Last of Us Remastered 
ground and more difficulty. No soldiers, All right. No yeah. Robertson. I'll see you guys then. Holmes out. You know he's expecting us. Well, that'll make it more interesting. <laughs>